The feeling of getting your first kickflip is a feeling like no other. In my skate journey, I pretty much learned kickflip after the ollie. I didn't learn frontside 180s, pop shoves. I was just interested in learning to ollie. I wasn't really motivated to learn the kickflip, but I know it's pretty iconic. Um, so after about five months is when I started to do them and it took about maybe five sessions until I landed my first kickflip. Here's a frame by frame of how to kickflip. Squat down, make sure your front foot is a little bit angled, rise up with your quads, lift your arms up, body, whole body's rising and your legs straight. Once it's straight, back foot straight, pop. Uncle Joe says to lead with the knee and that front foot comes right up and goes up to the kickflip area and then flicks out. And if you've done it with really good timing, which is hard to do, that kickflip will catch with the back foot. And that's how you know you've done a really good kickflip. And don't be afraid to land back on the skateboard no matter what, even if it flips primo. Uh, the only prerequisite I would say is you need an ollie. What's important about knowing how to ollie is for kickflip, you need that pop and you need to know how to slide your foot up. As you can see, the timing of an ollie and the kickflip is pretty similar. The way your front foot slides up the board should be the same timing. I struggle with getting the right timing like, like an ollie, but um, that's the ideal. Okay, to do a kickflip, your foot should be kind of angled a little bit. And then a lot of people say you want to flick off where your board starts to rise up. So, see where this part starts to rise up? You want to flick around here. But I think you can flick anywhere around here and it should be okay. So from up here to around here. So, psh, psh, blah. My, my, my kickflips mainly flick around here, which is really bad. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you realistic footage of me trying to land a kickflip and how many attempts it took. Um, and the common problems that I noticed. So, one is my foot kind of just stuck in the same position. It didn't really slide up. So one big problem that I wish I didn't do was, once I landed a kickflip, I just stopped. <laughs> I didn't really practice much kickflips after that. So... If I could redo it again, I would always try to land one kickflip a day. A big issue that always happens to me is that I just miss the board. And I think it's just the way I flick. Like I don't really bend my ankle and then flick off to the side. And again, the, the fix for this, I think, is just to drill the slide. It's all in the foot slide for me. That's my problem. And later I'll show my fix for this and it's not like a hundred percent fix all it is is really drilling the foot slide like crazy <laughs> and because my foot doesn't really slide i ended up flicking off the bolts like in parallel to the bolt and sure you could get a kickflip but it just doesn't feel like you land a real kickflip and the last issue is i just slide too soon which uh destroys my pop so I think one way I developed a way to fix my pop or timing is just to like pop and then slide. Another thing you could do if you're finding your kind of just got bad pop, you can just do that, those like up and downs. But yeah, just know, just keep believing that you'll get it. And, you will. and this session proves it. Like I did so many attempts, like a hundred attempts and none of them look like this perfect one. But now and then you'll just get one. Alright, I was looking through all the footage and I noticed my front foot never bends, like, never bends. Like, I have really bad ankle flexibility. I think it's because I rolled it ages ago. And so, what I noticed is in a lot of my attempts, my foot would just like go off the board. So, if I put it like in a normal kickflip position, my foot would just like completely miss it because it's not it's not bending it's just like going straight out like this it's going like this anyways that last attempt i only landed one and it was a really good one that last attempt i, I felt like i should put my feet more on the board and because my and and also practice this where i'm um bending 
bending all the way like this and just forcing myself to do big ones like that because yeah my ankle does not want to bend like that naturally so I've got to work that muscle get it uh, so let's try a kick clip where my feet is like here I'm sure it was a fluke but let's see <laughs> okay we're, we're almost making a breakthrough I, mean, I didn't land it but it was close So falling on your board is scary at first, but when you actually go and fall, it's actually not too bad. Um, yeah, so just do tricks like this, where you like, th this is one trick, it's almost like a kick flip. You stand on your board, flip it, whoops, and then try jump on it. So there's level one, and then level two, you try jump on it, and you just go, go, you just try. You know? So just, being, not being scared of like uh, a beginner variation that we all learn at the start is doing like you know, just flipping and jumping on your board and then the other one is like a caveman flip so you're gonna flip your board and you kind of just hope it works oh, that's tough. <laughs> but my biggest advice is for you to bring your own camera and tripod and film yourself in slow motion do a few attempts then look back and just see what you could do better for me it was like i really my first few attempts of kickflips they weren't sliding up the board so i had to really drill that and then a few more attempts where i wasn't popping the board and i should drill that but i didn't but yeah just always just notice that one thing that you can improve and then try it again and then film yourself and then it's like a repeating process where you can always get better and better um, maybe I'll try end with learning switch flips. Let's just see. I'm, let's pretend I'm a beginner. Uh, I've never landed a switch kick flip, so let's just work on that. So I'm gonna need to know how to ollie, switch ollie. Okay. Whoa, it feels so weird. <laughs> okay, let's just practice a few of these. Now I see what it's like to be a beginner again. <laughs> so yeah, if you watched my previous video on how to ollie, I made it look easy, but it's actually hard. Like, being able to balance like this, it's tricky. Whoa! What concerns me with that attempt was my front foot barely slid up, but let's just drill a few, we'll, we'll land a few more switch ollies and then we'll try a kickflip. Although it is getting dark. So if I were to give advice to my beginner self, I would say stick with the switch ollies until you can do, can you, can you, uh, until you can actually slide your foot up it. But you know what? Let's just jump to the kick lip. In case you don't know, Nigel Houston's flick, he like puts his foot like all the way out here. And cause I have a wide board, I guess putting it here helps. And then the, the goal is you just kind of flick up. Whoosh. I'm gonna do that advice where I really bend into it and um, so I have my foot a bit angled, really bend into it until it's uncomfortable. Yeah, that's actually really hard to do. And then one, two, bend it, it's so hard. Ah, oh, that's getting tiring. All right, let's try one. <laughs> I, haven't got a, I haven't got a good pop yet. <laughs> oh. My pop always goes away when I do kickflips. So let's work on the pop then. So just doing a few pops. Okay. Now let's try a kickflip. That's more like a heel flip. So in between, if my flick is really bad, I'm gonna have to work on doing eight of these. One. Half a flip. Alright, now I just foot position seems to work. Okay. What I'm noticing is if you if you look at my marks, what I'm noticing, if you look at my marks, it's just going straight up. 
I need a flick like here, so I gotta aim more there that way. So for the sake of the length of this video, I'm gonna stop it there. But we're gonna do a series where I'm gonna learn switch kick flips, and just to show you the process of what it's like to learn a kick flip and um, and all the things that I learned along the way of learning a switch kick flip, and hopefully that'll kind of teach you how to do a kickflip. <laughs>